I had a business situation uh, the other day, and um, I was, was operating in the area where I hadn't operated any in a while, or I had never operated in, so naturally fear anything that you're not really accustomed to, you um, that you have a certain element of fear because of it. But the significant thing was that I was able to attack my fears, and I tried it anyway. I did it in spite of. I did it afraid. And what the Lord showed me once that happened, and it inspired some of my posts the other night on Facebook, was that at the end of my fears, there was an open door. At the end of my fears, there was more opportunity. At the end of my fears... Um, there was greatness. You have to attack sometimes your fear, fear, your fears with action. You got to go at some things that you're not really accustomed to. You got to go into places where you've never operated in, levels that you've never um, engaged. You got to attack them. And sometimes the Lord opens so many doors right because you were bold enough to do it. Because I opened this door. I opened up new opportunities to myself because I was bold enough to knock uh, some things open up to me that had previously been shut. So you have to sometime attack your fears and embrace them um, no matter where they may be. And, and the Lord uh, gave me some inspiration from that the other night uh, and he said some things to me. One of them, um, let's see. Whatsoever thy hands find to do, do it with all your might. You can't half-heartedly go at anything. If you go at anything with a spirit of excellence, even if you're not used to operating on that level, even that if that has not been your way, your work ethic and your commitment to excellence, your commitment to fairness, your commitment to right will steer you to the place that you're trying to arrive at. Uh, the Lord gave me this. He said, if you stay adverse to risk, then you're robbing your own future. As many times we our futures are limited because we won't uh, embrace risk. We stay with the safe thing. Safety sometimes is the one of the most disastrous things ever uh, known to your, uh, our particular destinies. Uh, there's something beyond what you're seeing daily. You got uh, what you're seeing is not all that there is. You have to embrace your future. You have to go and attack it. You got to go and the kingdom suffered violence and the violent take it by force. You got to embrace your future. You got to nurture your future. You got to cultivate your future. You got to master your future. And all of those are done with action. You're not going if you sit there pontificating, you won't get anything. The next thing he gave me is revelation is missed often because we don't act on our faith. My boldness to go where I had never gone before gave me revelation that I can operate on a level that I had never operated on before. So sometimes you got to embrace uh, faith uh, if you're ever going to embrace revelation. And I said the working of your faith will reveal so much that was hidden. Many times God won't show you the end of the road. He's waiting for you to take the first step. Some of the healings in the Bible came as they went. Some people had to put their foot in the waters before the waters receded. Sometimes your act of faith will give you the revelation that you've been seeking for so long. Um, the, uh, another one God, Lord gave me, he said, God sends his greatest revelations to those who are bold enough to move away from faith home base. Revelation is waiting on your faith move. God sends revelation so many times to make uh, uh, to those who are already in the midst of the battle. Revelation is for warfare. It's not for those who are sitting in a hammock. It doesn't come as readily to those who are content sitting on the sidelines. Uh, you got to move away from faith's home base. Your next faith move is the thing it made it's released so much revelation the fact that i was bold enough to act in the, on this particular situation in a business setting opened up some doors and god gave me additional revelation with the act so many times you're going to have to act first and then the revelation will come we're waiting for the revelation before we act god will sometimes send revelation as you're bold enough to act. Your faith, God's waiting on your next faith move. This is my teachable moment. 
I'm apost uh, the elder Stephen F. Smith, the apostle of the internet. God bless you.